Well, that was good. We're in 1947, Pakistan. And now Ombre, she's your nun, right? Yeah. <gasps> How did we bring demons on ourselves? I don't know, but we'll find out. If I had to guess, I think we're going on in. Tread softly. You're treading on your own history. Welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Series 11 Episode 6 Demons of the Punjab. Now this episode was written by Vinay Patel and is the first episode of Series 11 not to be purely written by Chris Chibnall. And yeah, we are over halfway through the series now. It seems like ages ago since The Woman Who Fell to Earth, but at the same time, it feels like it's gone w really quickly. So yeah, it's quite a weird feeling. So yes, what did I think about this episode? Thought this episode was mostly very good. There were a few flaws which I'll get onto later on this video, but overall, a great episode. So yes, what was the plot of this episode? So yeah, this episode was set in 1947 during the partition of India and Pakistan. When the country was divided, Pakistan was for Muslims and India was for Hindus. So yes, didn't know that. So yeah, that quite good historical context of this episode. I learned something from it, which is great. And yeah, basically there's these folks trying to get this village and in the village there's both Muslims and Hindus and they want to divide them. But also, in this valley, there are these demons and these demons honour the death of people. And yes, they are there for people who are alone when they die. I thought they were going to be the Stenzas to start with, as they had lots of similarities to the Stenza, because originally the Doctor thought that they killed this holy man, but in fact they were just being there when he died. And also when one of the characters called Prem appeared on the Stenza projection, it was very similar to how Carl on the train appeared in The Woman Who Fell to Earth. So for a minute I thought the Stenza were going to appear in this story, but they didn't. The monsters were quite similar, but they turned out not to be monsters. They turned out to just be honouring people's deaths, which was a bit of a callback to Twice Upon a Time when it wasn't an evil threat. The only evil threat of this story were the thugs who wanted to divide for Muslims and Hindus. So yes, what did I think was good about this episode? So yeah, what did I like about this episode of Doctor Who? So first of all, I thought the musical score in this story was brilliant. I loved the authentic feel to the music in this story. It felt very suited to the place where the story was set. It just felt very good, the music. I loved the musical store, score in this story. Also, the scenery in Pakistan was very good. Loved the scenery. It was absolutely brilliant. I think this story was filmed in South Africa because a couple of episodes in the series has, have been filmed in South Africa. It didn't look like it was filmed in the UK. So if it was filmed in the UK, very well done to the locations people for making it look like it was filmed in Pakistan. Also, historical context of this story was great, learnt some interesting facts about this story which was great and also the callbacks of this story were very good with the Doctor referring back to when she was a man, that was a very good little line in this story and also the Stenza thing which I mentioned earlier on in this video and started rambling about so yeah I do think the Stenza will appear again in this series and yeah, hopefully Crasco will also appear in this series again. I did actually think at one point in this episode Crasco was going to appear for some reason. There hasn't really been a threat in this series except for Tim Shaw and Crasco. So yeah, I think they need a threat in this series. So yes, what did I not like about this episode? So yeah, the first thing I didn't like about this Doctor Who story was the Doctor herself. So yes, in the first few episodes of Series 11, the Doctor felt a bit inconsistent, but there was an improvement in Episode 4 and 5. However, in this episode, the Doctor seemed to be a bit inconsistent again. Some minutes she was quite funny, the next minute she was quite serious, and I just don't like the inconsistency. I think this is down to this episode being written by Vinay Patel and not by Chris Chibnall at all and that is why the Doctor is a bit inconsistent in this story. So yeah, I think Chris Chibnall could have intervened a bit with the creation of this story, Vinay Patel do the historical context, but 
Chris Chibnall do the Doctor, so yeah, I think that would have been better. Also, the guest stars in the story weren't very good. So far in Series 11, the guest stars have been great, however, in this episode they felt a bit wooden, some of the acting, and yeah, I just didn't like it. And also the threat, which I mentioned earlier on in this video, that hasn't really been a big threat in Series 11 so far. The demons weren't really a threat in this story, the only threat was the thugs who wanted to divide the village. And yeah, I think the, they could do a threat in Series 11 at some point. They have had Tim Short and Crasco, but there hasn't really been a big threat. Crasco didn't seem really threatening, he was just a bit of a side plot. Tim Short, yes, he was threatening, he killed the salad guy. Eat my salad. Justice for the salad guy. He deserves a funeral, he deserves a shrine, like Kianto from Torchwood. But yeah, they really need to do a big villain in Series 11. And yeah, will the Daleks appear in Series 11? They haven't said, well, they've actually said the Daleks won't appear. But loads of people have been saying every series they need the Daleks to appear at least once in a series. If not, they'll lose the rights from the Terry Nation Trust and not be able to use the Daleks again. So yeah, they might appear in a scene at the end of series 11. Maybe they get kidnapped by the Daleks. And yeah, also the music at the end of this episode I didn't like. They didn't play the theme tune again. They didn't do this in episode 3 and they haven't done this again in episode 6. So yeah, I think they should just play the theme tune and not play music which was previously played in the episode over the theme tune. I just don't like it. Stick with the theme tune and yet yeah, also the pre credit scene as well. They need that. They need a pre-credit scene for this episode. And yeah, that is the end of my review for Doctor Who Episode 6 of Series 11, Demons of the Punjab. Please let me know what you think of this episode in the comments below. And yes, I personally rate this episode a 7 out of 10. Not my favourite of the series, but not my worst of the series. So yes, until the next time, goodbye. Welcome to Kablam. Kablam's the biggest retailer in this galaxy. This came to me in a delivery. A man is missing, and I don't think he's the first. I might start to suspect that you're responsible.